Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime, it's Tuesday, so we're gonna have a look at the vendor reset. Sorry for my voice, but I'm not feeling too well, but you know, the show must go on, so let's dive right into the vendor reset. Starting with the countdown vendor, we can find the Baker's Dozen, the Point Man, and yes, the gift is for sale here. And look at this. This is the must, must buy of the week. 5.9% critical hit chance already on there. So you can go for some headshot damage or critical hit damage. And then you only have to optimize the weapon damage to get this to God roll. This is the best, best buy I've seen in a very very long time as this is also a DZ exclusive. I will buy at least one or two to make one with critical hit damage and headshot damage but if you want to make more builds with this buy a couple of them it's definitely definitely worth it. Point man not really worth it in my opinion Baker's dozen is too low to pick up as well. And there we are at the White House. And in my opinion, not really worth it. Maybe you can go for the Grown. Great, this is the newest addition as a named weapon to the game. And you only have to buy 20 or you only have to donate 20 to your expertise system to get this proficient. So if you have a lot of in-game money and you want to push your proficiency level higher, buy a few of those and donate them in your expertise system. And there we are at the clan vendor. Not really great reset here as well. Maybe you want to pick up the Lavogier or however you like to pronounce that. This is the name backpack on Electric and comes with perfect galvanize and critical hit chance already on there. So you might want to go for some status effect for example to make this work together. But again this is just one of the things that you might want to buy. Not really the best buy out there. Same as for the Hunter Fury knee pads, 12.3% weapon damage, pretty decent. So you can roll that health away. But those are, in my opinion, the two pieces that you might want to look at. And there we are at DZ South. Yes, I skipped over everything else. All the settlements, DZ East, not really worth going for it. And look at this. The Matador is for sale at DZ South. And it comes with critical hit chance and weapon handling already on there. So if you have the DZ points for it, if you're looking for that perfect adrenaline rush with that critical hit chance on it, definitely, definitely go for it. Dive into the DZs, get your credits up, or of course, buy it if you already have those credits. This is a perfect, perfect backpack, if you ask me. Yes, it's going to set you back a little bit in optimization because the weapon damage isn't that high. But this is again a DZ exclusive and again one of the must buys this week. And then for DZ West we have the Virginian. Again a DZ exclusive. This comes with perfect boomerang on there but it isn't really a great buy. I just wanted to show you that this is for sale as well but in my opinion just look for it in the DZs or wait until it gets popped in for another buy in the vendor reset or of course get lucky from named caches as the core attributes and the normal attribute isn't really what you're looking for. And there we are at Roy in New York, the last vendor, and again, not really worth traveling for. So it is a pretty quick and easy vendor reset, and there are a few things that you must, must buy. Of course, there are not really that much things, but the things that are here are so, so worth it, even going for DZ credits, or of course, for those countdown requisition points. And what we might see tomorrow at Cassie. But normally we only see the first two pieces at Cassie. So hopefully the gift will be at Cassie tomorrow as well. So we can buy it with in-game money instead of the countdown requisition points. Although just play two countdowns and you have enough points to buy that 
gift. That's it for me today. Thank you very much for sticking until the end. If you're still here, you are a freaking legend. Make sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you're new here, you want to be updated about the Division Universe, the Division 2, and the future Division 3, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. And I will see you in the next video. Pure Prime out.